Greetings, my name is Maria Teresa Nogales, and I am the Executive Director of Fundación Alternativas, a nonprofit organization that works on redesigning and renewing food systems in Bolivia. It is a great honor to have been invited to participate in the second international forum on urban rural linkages. To that end, and to begin, I would like to thank you and Habitat for the invitation, as well as the authorities of the People's Republic of China who have made this event possible. Today, I've been asked to speak about traditional medicine, COVID-19, and urban rural linkages, for which I have prepared a brief presentation. But before I begin, I would like to say the obvious. Last year, much like the rest of the world, Bolivia was caught by, the, by surprise by the arrival of a global pandemic. We were certainly unprepared in so many ways, as we had never lived through such a situation before. And so we did not have the necessary medical facilities, equipments, protocols. Of course, since we had never lived through a quarantine or a strict lockdown, we didn't have procedures for that either. We didn't even have a food security preparedness plan. So as many others, we all had to learn along the way and hope for the best. While Bolivia is predominantly urban with approximately 70% of the population living in cities, Migration patterns have been a fairly recent phenomenon. In this context, many of the country's inhabitants maintain social and family ties to rural areas. In addition, traditional medicine is not only recognized by law, but also socially accepted. Furthermore, indigenous rituals, beliefs, and practices centered on people's interconnectedness to the natural and spiritual world are also commonly practiced by urban and rural people alike. Bolivia, located in the heart of South America, is renowned for its diverse indigenous culture. We are home to more than 36 ancestral languages, many ethnicities, and many peoples. We are also home to 12 eco-regions. Over the course of centuries, our peoples have developed a profound relation to the earth, the elements, and the spirit worlds, all of which are the very foundations of our cultural expressions and our traditional medicine. And before I continue, I would like to share a few slides I have put together for this occasion. So bear with me as I share my screen and get those slides ready. So as I mentioned earlier, much like the rest of the world, Bolivians adopted conventional biosecurity measures. But in addition, many households and communities also recurred to natural medicine to prevent contagion. Importantly, um, the plurinational state of Bolivia recognizes traditional medicine as cultural patrimony and has adopted a normative framework that officially integrates ancestral medicine into the national health system. To this end, the government has created and incorporated the Vice Ministry of Traditional and Intercultural Medicine into its organizational structure. In parallel, many public and private universities have included this area of study into the curriculum. So interestingly, COVID-19 revealed once again, the usefulness and applicability of traditional medicine in an increasingly modern world. And given that most of us were in strict lockdown for many months, public and private actors recurred to social and traditional media to promote natural medicine and encourage citizens to adopt preventative measures through the use of herbs, natural concoctions, and other ancestral remedies. And so as the pandemic progressed, we began to hear more and more stories of people who recurred to natural medicine in order to stay safe. And I think importantly, in the face of an accelerated metropolitanization process, the need to strengthen and diversify urban rural linkages becomes increasingly important and relevant. These efforts will play a fundamental role in ensuring the safeguarding and sustainability of ancestral legacy and cultural heritage, as well as the greater interdependence between peoples and territories. Undoubtedly, bridging the divides between territories generates interconnectedness. It unites people and cultures. It helps societies maintain 
their heritage alive. It also drives social and economic development through the exchange of goods and services and the integration of short supply chains. Without a doubt, urban rural linkages play a fundamental role in ensuring the safeguarding and sustainability of ancestral legacy and cultural heritage, as well as a greater interdependence between peoples and territories. And so our task over the next generations is to ensure that we do not lose sight of our heritage and that we invest our efforts in ensuring that both urban and rural habitats offer sustainable livelihoods and equitable standards of living so that we may all reap the benefits of tomorrow. Thank you.